Alright, what's up guys? It's Drunken Rock Man here, and I'm about to show you guys how to, um... I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a room so that it's gonna be the less... I'm gonna set you... Okay. I'm gonna teach you guys... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up a room so that you have the lowest chance of a laggy connection in Super Smash Flash 2 online. So, alright. What you wanna do is, um... First thing you do... Alright. When you create a room... Here's what I usually do. To avoid people doing the bug that happens, there's currently a bug. Now there are two things you can you can go about it. You cannot because there's a there's a bug that goes around. The devs have said the bug the devs have said it themselves. You um what happens is if you move in the waiting room or you attack sandbag, it can cause a big desynchronization when the match starts, and that make, makes the game completely unplayable. So. What I usually do when I make my room name is don't move in the waiting room. Just tell tell your um just tell the people that you're join that are going to be joining your room not to move in the waiting room because not everybody knows about it. Not everybody goes on the forums. So and maybe doesn't even go on the website because they have it downloaded to their computer. So yeah, when you have just make sure that they don't move in the waiting room because that can cause the bug. And if you um, also I'm I, they're doing maintenance tonight, so that might fix the issue. That might fix the bug. But um, if you don't want to if if you don't tell them to move in the waiting room, then just put your location. Like I live in Maryland, so I'm gonna put the U.S. East Coast. So just put just put your location because the way the lag works in in this game is um, the connection is reliable. It relies on how good your connection is, where you live, in relation to your opponent's connection, where your opponent lives. So if you live in U.S., I live in Maryland. So if I played as a guy against a guy who lives over in New York, it wouldn't be that bad. But if if a guy from United Kingdom joins my room, it might be very laggy. So I just put U.S. East Coast to let people know that that's where I am, and to expect a laggy connection if they live far away or if they live in the U.S. and you're me in the East Coast, then they can join my room and have a pretty smooth match. So you can do U.S. East Coast, or you can do Don't Move in Waiting Room. Either one of these works. The second thing, make sure you don't set it to high. If you set it to high latency, you're going to have a lot of lag. Always set it to low latency. Create your room. I highly recommend that you only do 1v1 battles because free for alls tend to be very laggy due to all the people in the room at once. And on top of that, there's always going to be that guy who only wants to play free for alls and he's going to SD automatically to avoid having to play a free for all because people think that free for alls are for animals and ruffians, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you want any special modes, do that. To get a. To get a free for all, to get a one v one, just make sure that you get to the stage select screen as soon as you see one person join. Make sure you just lock the room automatically by picking a stage. So yeah, as soon as you see that person join, just lock the stage in. And yeah, I got a pretty smooth match right here. See, so this is how you do it. There's a little bit of delay, but I mean it's fine. This is the best way to ensure you get the um, good quality match. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you apply apply this to your um your actual play so you make sure you don't have a laggy match and i hope you use this and i hope you enjoy it so thank you for watching